Hey, Ronnie. Hey, Lou. Can I ask you a question? <laughs> ask me anything you want. Did you know that we've compiled a list of 11 words and phrases that smart pebble people never use? Yeah, what about smart pebbles, though? Well, the smart pebbles <laughs> are cocoa pebbles. <laughs> I do not like fruity pebbles. I do not like them in a box. <laughs> no. I do not like them on the rocks. <laughs> I do not like them on a plane. I do not like them on a train. <laughs> so today, we've compiled this list and we'll share them with you so that you don't ever feel stupid. So first up on our list today, you look tired. Don't say this to people. I it's not tired. it's not correct. You may be trying to be sympathetic, but pointing out that someone looks tired is just another way of saying, "Wow, you look like crap." <laughs> yeah. Nobody <laughs> wants to hear that. And saying it just makes you sound insensitive. That same goes for, "Have you lost weight?" Even if it is the truth, you're basically pointing out to that person that you noticed how fat they used to be. Right, yes. Bad idea. In both cases, a sincere, hey, how you doing, is better. Someone who's legitimately tired can talk about the new baby or the new puppy that's keeping them up all night if they want to. Someone who's lost weight can say, I feel great since I lost 20 pounds. Either way, you're letting that person you're speaking with direct the conversation so you're like, le less likely to step on their toes. I get that. Yeah, it, it makes good sense. Yeah. Uh, the next one, uh, <laughs> I hear this occasionally. I utilized my phone to you, look you, that up. Well, did you have it in your utility belt? Yeah. Look, uh, you, yeah, it, it's, you didn't utilize it. You just uh, used your phone. Yeah. You got on your phone and you used it. Yeah, spouting a 50-cent word when a 10-center will do doesn't really make you sound any smarter. No. It makes you sound like you're trying just a little bit too hard. Uh, stick to clear, simple terms, and you'll give the impression that you know what you're talking about. Of course, it doesn't hurt to improve your vocabulary as long as you keep your speeches short and sweet. Okay, our list today is words and phrases that smart people never, ever use. How about... I can't, mm. especially in the workplace. Yeah. This one's an indicator that you lack either know-how, motivation, or both. I'll try. Now that gives off the same vibe too, really. Why limit yourself to trying when you should be doing? So if you're asked to do something unfamiliar or intimidating, don't give up before you've even started. Besides, there is no try. Only do or don't do. Thank you, Yoda. A smart person wouldn't. They'd figure it out, even if they needed help to do so. So there's no shame in asking for assistance so you can get something done and done right. Uh, and I love this one. I, I have a little pet peeve with people who misuse words. I gave her my best advice. Advise? Yeah, I gave her my best advice. You can advise someone, but you can't give advice. No. No. You only give advice. Please, people, yeah. make a note of it. Follow, follow me here. Uh, watch out for false friends like these who can make you sound less smart than you really are. Some common trip-ups include adverse yeah. versus averse. Mm -hmm. First one usually means unfavorable, as in adverse market conditions. Second one means feeling opposed, such as I am averse to giving anyone unsolic unsolicited <laughs> advice. advice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, continuously versus continually, uh, which is without ever stopping versus repeatedly. Yeah. And farther versus further. Oh, I know some people that really struggle with that first one. First one is about physical distance, and while well, the second one is about uh, is a figurative. Like like figure. Uh, what, what's a good example of that? Um, hmm. There are none. There aren't any. No, there's no good examples. All right. Uh, furthermore. Oh. Think of it that way. That means in addition to. There you go. Further means in addition to. Next up, baby talk. <laughs> people 
please don't do this. Uh, I, do with, I do it with my dog sometimes. <laughs> That's all right. I'm okay with that. <laughs> any other mommies feel this way? If you want to sound like a smart adult, don't talk like a little kid. Save the baby talk for your actual baby, okay? Referring to yourself or anyone else as mommy or daddy or honey bunny should be reserved for family members at home. At home. And yes, that includes calling your pets fur babies. Love them? Be proud of them? Of course. But unless you're at the dog park or pet store with fellow animal lovers, stick to the grown-up words. Thank you. The more you know. <laughs> we need the tone of bing, bong, boom. I have it. Oh, perfect. Uh, so, oh, and this one, I, I think this is a total millennial one right here. Okay. That's not fair. Oh, yeah. That's not fair. Whoever said it was going to be. Yeah. Speaking of baby talk, crying yeah. foul over something you feel is unfair can be can very easily make you sound immature or whiny or not smart. Standing up to real injustice is smart and admirable, uh, but your tone matters. Try something like, I think it would be more equitable if we did it this way. And be sure to propose a solution instead of just fussing and foot stomping. I, you know, at our work, they tell us, if you want to change something, because it's real easy to go to your sergeant and say, hey, this is not the right way to be doing this, and leave it at that. Uh, well, this is the way we're going to do it until somebody puts on paper a better way to do it mm -hmm. and explains why it's better. If you're that passionate about it, put it on paper. Do the work. Do a little bit of work on it. Yeah. Uh, and that's the thing. People are not willing to put in the work when it comes to changing anything. Yeah. And you know what? Just standing there and bitching and complaining, it doesn't do anything. And it's horrible for your attitude. Yeah. I know, it happens to me, I'm sure. Mostly from me. <laughs> no, from All right, next up, this may also be a millennial thing. In our list of 11 words and phrases smart people never, ever use, whatevs. Whatever. Whatevs. Uh, saying whatever or I don't care. Ronnie, Yeah. I don't care. I don't care. Even in a pleasant tone. Let me try it again. Ronnie, I don't care. Ooh. Is that better? I think that's a little Makes better. you sound less than smart because it implies that you don't have any thoughts at all. <laughs> Nothing intelligent ever comes from the word whatever. Even if you're just trying to go with the flow, you can still contribute to the discussion, for God's sakes. If you have an opinion, share it politely. If you truly aren't sure about something, ask a question. Seek more information until you can give a thoughtful, useful response. People, please, smarten up. Instead of dumbing down America, right. let's smarten up America. Just a, just a notch. Please. Yeah, let's just take it up a notch. All right, this one, and I... Uh, Alluded to it? Yeah, I, well, let me let me get it out of the way first. The, the phrase is, we've always done it this way. Well, of course, since the beginning of time. Yeah, so why shouldn't we always do it this way it from here on down? It must be right. Yeah. So smart people are open to new ideas and suggestions. Sticking to a method or process... Just because it's familiar makes you look more stubborn and closed-minded than smart. Uh, whether you're at work, a volunteer organization, or your child's school, it's wise to be willing to listen when someone presents an opportunity for improvement. They might just be right. Hmm. So I've recently started volunteering at an animal shelter. Oh, yeah, Front Street Animal Front Shelter. Front Street Animal Shelter. And they are... And you have to take some orientation classes before you can even scrape out, you know, crappy dog kennels. You have to go through some training classes. Well, one of the things that they uh, tell you is if you see something that can be done better or more efficiently or using less resources or less manpower, run it past us because it is. It's a... You know, they don't, nobody there says that they have invented the foolproof, you know, most perfect system. And their volunteers come from a wide range of diversities and socioeconomic groups. And so somebody may just have a better idea. 
uh, and they're completely open to it, 100% open to improving it. What I've seen is, speaking to this matter more specifically, people get so comfortable with the way that they've always done it. Right. And to consider doing something new and improved, um, I think they think, oh, well, I'm going to have to learn new technology. I'm going to have to come out of my little box that I'm in. Be open to these sorts of things. How do you know that this isn't going to make your job easier right. or better yep. or more efficient? Be open to new ideas. Yep. On our list of things, words and phrases smart people never ever use, boy, oh boy, if I had a dime for every time I've heard this one, I'd be sitting on a big bag of dimes. Even if it, it was just a dime from every time my son said it. It's not my fault. <laughs> no, it's not my fault I put the empty refrigerator, uh, empty bottle of milk back in the refrigerator. It's not my fault. That's where it goes. You know what kills me? I open up our garbage bag mm. or a garbage can, and there's like four uh, s soda cans in there, empty soda cans. Aluminum cans. The recycling bin is a mere 20 steps from the garbage can. And uh, I get it. He doesn't pay the five cent recycling fee, so it doesn't affect him. Right. But hmm. it's not my fault. Just like saying it's not fair, announcing you couldn't possibly be wrong or at fault ends up making you sound defensive and immature. Similarly, claiming that it's not my job gives the impression that you're not a team player. In the workplace, if there's a problem, don't back away and avoid the blame. Even if the issue really isn't your fault or your job, you'll look much smarter if you just pitch in and help. Oh, boy, if only that were the case. Yeah. yeah. At work the other day, they said to me, hey, you didn't punch out on Thursday night. Did you stay here all night and work? <laughs> and I looked at the girl and I said, don't you know my level of commitment? <laughs> <laughs> You're like Fred Flintstone when they that whistle blows, sliding down the brontosaurus yeah. tail and out of there. <laughs> out of here! I've done it all my life. Okay. <laughs> oh, this next one, and I hear this a lot. Mm. Uh, I've got a dumb question. Well, we don't have any room for dumb questions, mm -hmm. nor time. Right. So to sound smart, don't call yourself dumb right off the bat. Yeah, because you're going to just get labeled that way immediately, right. subconsciously. Yeah. So really, there's no shame in asking a question. Own it. Uh, same goes for sharing a suggestion or idea. Don't undermine yourself by starting with, this might sound silly, or this is probably stupid, but uh, instead, have confidence, or at least fake it. You'll sound much wiser, no matter what your question or opinion might be. Yeah. Don't, and don't ask a dumb question at the end of a meeting. Oh, my God. Please save that. We just want to get out of there. Yeah, we're done. Yeah. We, we've been done for 10 minutes. Yeah, wait till everybody leaves and then pull your supervisor aside and ask. Super, here's the supervisor. Ready? Ronnie, let's role play. Ready? Okay. Okay, and so I've just given you my 55-minute dissertation on marketing and bottom line. Are there any questions? Oh, 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 yes, oh, oh, oh. You, yes, you with the shiny face. <laughs> okay, I have a dumb question. Uh, no. <laughs> No, you don't. Next, any other questions? That's how that meeting should go right there. All right, finally, on our list of words and phrases smart people never, ever use, he gifted me the necklace. You don't gift someone something. You give them something. Wait, on Judge Duty, you can gifted somebody something. You can gifted? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I've heard it. It means the same thing without needlessly converting a noun into a verb. Okay, that's a little anal. Another frequent offender in this vein is impact. Instead of the storm impacted my commute, it's better and smarter to say the storm affected my commute or even the storm had a big impact on my commute. Both are way better. Yeah, I yeah. think so too. So if you don't want to be labeled stupid or dumb these are some things to avoid i don't know if we're necessarily guilty of any of those now I, that i think back i think on i've it. avoided most of those my whole life mm -hmm. we hope you have to if there's some that you particularly have a, a, a an issue with we'd love to have you comment below that's what they're there for 
comments. Hell yeah. And we respond to them too. Yep. You know, I can't, I cannot tell you how many times, Ronnie, somebody posts a comment on our video and within 10 minutes I've replied to them and their response is always, I can't believe you even replied. <laughs> yeah. Do we read your comments? Absolutely. Yeah, we read every one of them. Yep. And if it warrants some kind of a, if, even if it's just a thank you for watching, uh, you'll get something from us about 99% of the time yep. uh, based on how extremely busy we are at, at the moment because we both have got a lot of stuff going on. A lot of stuff on our plate. Yep. Uh, okay, Ronnie, we got to get out of here. Yeah. I really wanted to say to you, if you watch this show all the way through, uh, I got to believe that you enjoyed it or you learned something from it. And if you wouldn't mind, it doesn't cost you an absolute thing. Subscribe to our channel. I got to tell you, we're at a point right now where we really need some more subscribers. I'm not begging. I'm not getting down on my knees. I'm not groveling. I'm just saying it doesn't hurt in any way, shape, or form for you to subscribe to our channel. Uh, and then you'll also get notifications each time a new show comes out. Well, five more subscribers and my wife gets a new toaster oven. I thought she won one of those at the bank. <laughs> Remember when banks used to give those away? Yes. <laughs> or don't they give them away at Thunder Valley to they her? They do, oh, yeah. yeah. That's oh, what yeah. I figured. We have a, a front room full of giveaway <laughs> prizes. Okay, here comes uh, Facebook Marketplace. Yep. I see it now. All right, uh, so everything I said and more. Yeah, exactly. I'm Lou Gallagher. I'm Corvette Ronnie. This has been Men Are So Smart. <laughs> All right, we've got this list for you. You know, if you're... Whoa. <laughs> That's sad. <laughs> just it, went, is. it just went limp. Yeah, it did. <laughs> oh, for God's <laughs> sakes, man. Tilt it. Get it right in my eyes. There we go. Okay. I'm blind.